Cass is always showing me uh, how to be an entrepreneur. So, my inspiration. Small how business. To be on. Small business. Whenever you're moving, we'll, we'll make this deal now. Whenever you move somewhere, I'll show you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the town. Yeah. Right. Next one, Dubai. Is it gonna be? Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Max is from Seattle. So we're gonna have a. I'm, I'm having beer, but uh, we're gonna have a tea. It's great to see you, Cass. It's been a long time. Three years. It's been three years, yes. Three years. And we've known each other for 11 now. Can we tell how we met? We met therapy, yeah. So. I have been running a company, SATS, and then I was a distributor for therapy for seven years. And Max, the guy who hooked me up over the agreement for seven years. So because of him, I was able to maintain my uh, service. So, thank you. He, 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 you made Japan happen for therapy. Mm -hmm. You were, you were the one in, in, in Japan opening up the whole market for us. It was good times. I remember. Yeah. Coming over to Japan a couple you remember the place I was staying in in Shibuya? Yeah, you, you remember? Got nice, you, you got a comment for like yes. two months or something. Yeah, two months, yeah, to negotiate the deals and it was great. Yeah, or the, or the contract with me. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It was a it was a good time. You were there for two months and um, that was a I great think time. at that time you were, you, you were able to use a lot of expense and travel. That was yeah, fun. yeah. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was a good time. And then, and then you always went, every year you went to the CES. And I remember one time you visited when the earthquake happened. Yeah. You were at the airport. You just returned, I think. From Victoria. Yeah, from Victoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that was 2011. 2011, yeah, yeah. So that's we, right. We stuck at the um, airport for two, three days. As soon as we landed and start shaking. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That was crazy. That was really crazy. I remember that. Good times, but it's so great to uh, see you again. And the last time we met was in, in Tokyo. Yeah, we, in... we met him about uh, two years and a half ago. Yeah, because the copy start two years, so it gotta be before then. So. Yeah, and then before then, it was a couple times in Japan. One time you invited me to one of your conferences. Remember that? Yeah, but that was still when you had the therapy. It's still therapy. Yeah. Yeah, so I have known Max for 11 years. He is a good friend. Most of people, you know, come and go, but you know, we connect, stay connected for stay connected for 11 years for a long he time. He's always my mentor. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Guys, I can never be like Max. Oh. He always, he always know the, all the stuff. No, I really don't. I really don't. Cass is always showing me uh, how to be an entrepreneur. So, my inspiration. Small how business. To be on. Small business. I, yeah, I, yeah, I no, only do the small it's business. But, uh, it's all good. Good things, Cass. And then now we are on on Yubin Island. Yeah, you see, we are at the Yubin Island. So um, I'm totally out of it's shape. Hot. Cass is uh, a really good biker. <laughs> Taking the mountain back around. Very good. Yeah. We saw a chicken and a boar. Right, white boar eating the trash. We found the one place in Singapore that has trash on the ground. Right. So how was the flight? How was the flight from uh, Seattle? It's good. Fifteen hours. Fifth, yeah. Well, I mean, total, what, what, what time? What time? Total did you time leave? in the plane. I think it was more like 18 hours because we had to wait in Seattle. It was all fogged up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to wait for an hour in Seattle, yeah. then hop over to Vancouver. And then you stay in the plane. You keep sitting in the plane, wait for other people in Vancouver to board. Oh, so you keep the same airport? Same airport. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all Singapore. And then we fly, uh, we flew to, uh, you know, Singapore. Um, so good thing Max was because I, when I came to Singapore, I had to do seven days quarantine. But he he came last night, and then the, he's now out enjoying Singapore. So I had to do six six hours of quarantine. That's like nothing. <laughs> yeah. While I was sleeping, 
my quarantine time was during the <laughs> night because I, I've done it around midnight and then because I think it's because it's, you, know, you rest open the door to the Singaporean so the Singaporean can, can fly to US then vice versa Japan closed the border therefore Singaporean government also has to close the border for us so that to the Singapore unless you have a valid visa you cannot travel to Singapore from Japan even us I have an EP, but I have to do a seven day quarantine. So. Yeah, but you need to do testing every day. You need to <coughs> buy insurance to get this, um, uh, you know, this travel pass. But it's good. It's good. What is the maximum day you can stay? I'm allowed to stay for 90 days now. 90 days, wow. Yeah. And then the restrictions get less. Like after 14 days, I don't think my, the restrictions are. I don't have to do uh, testing every day. I think then it's only every week or something. I don't so know. that testing is going to be provided by Singapore government. Well, yes, it's provided by them, but I have to pay for it. How much? How much you pay? Well, for the PCR test, 150 Singapore yeah, dollars. I paid it too. Or 145 or something. And then, um, you know, the other ones are just picked up at the the local like 7-Eleven. The, the so how ART much tests. Six dollars a piece. Okay. That's not bad. No. It's fine. It's really good. Or well, Watson's. Watson's. Yeah, Watson. Watson. Yeah, Watson. So this week I'm gonna spend a lot of time with him. So what are you gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna tomorrow? rent a car tomorrow and, we're gonna rent and, a car. and show you around Singapore. <laughs> He's gonna show me Singapore because I don't know anything about Singapore. We're, we're going to I need to actually do some, um, you know, some research, some work. We're going to look at grocery stores. <laughs> we're going to look right. at yes. We're going to look at some some stores. We're going to look at the lighthouse. Yeah. Going to take a couple of photos there. Sentosa Island, right? Yes, Sentosa Island. I think that's where the um, there's a nice beach there, and also the Universal Studios. Yeah, that's right. I think yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then do a bit of a drive around. Look at also some. Um, some of the bridges over to Malaysia. Yeah. Say hello to Malaysia. To Johor Bahru, right? Yeah. Johor Bahru. And then, um, yeah. And then that's it. All right. So that should be fun. That should be good. Should be fun. Yeah, and then I gotta do work a little bit. You gotta do work as well. But then we'll have, I think, at least one more kind of um, exploring and a dinner. And then, no, no. but we gotta do something maybe for isn't like the um so Thursday, Friday, and the new, new year's when is the new year yeah it's the february first so tuesday but the second maybe we can do yeah. something together great yes that's right yes the second where we actually have a meeting on the second and so we're gonna go have a drink of course whatever either way. yes that's right so yeah it'll be a good week quick quick but good yes so we are thinking about do some business together. So we gotta do some brainstorming. Always. Yeah. Some charity work. <laughs> so I met Max in Japan, in Singapore, in Canada. So he showed up anywhere, true. everywhere. I haven't met him in Germany yet. No, we have not he's, met him in the Europe German. yet. He's a German. We have not yet met him in Europe. Have we? Yeah, that's right. He's originally from Munich. That's right. Germany. That's right. You gotta do that, yeah. especially if you like beer. You gotta do that. I like Bison. 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 Very good. Okay, well, we'll do but that. I went to, two years ago, I went to Frankfurt, Germany. When I lived in Germany, why didn't you... We never met up. Well, I didn't start the uh, trade show business until 2018. Yeah. When the Airbnb business kind of broke going down... Didn't you do some deal with some Dutch company? Some yeah. Netherlands or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always here, so come anytime. Stuck in the yeah, island. <laughs> Whichever, yeah, that's right. Whenever you're moving, we'll, we'll make this deal now. Whenever you move somewhere, I'll show you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the town, yeah. right? Next one, Dubai, is it gonna be the Dubai. Next? Yeah. <laughs> show you around Dubai, no problem. No problem, Cass. So what do you think about Bitcoin? What, what do you think about cryptocurrency? I think it's it's the um, it's it's definitely the future, right? Like I think it's going to be 
But do you, think that, do you think that Bitcoin is going to be treated as a the currency, as a form of payment? Probably not, right? I mean, maybe too, not. Too volatile. <laughs> well, no, maybe not Bitcoin itself, but I think Bitcoin started it all. I think it'll always be around. Yeah. It's been, Bitcoin has been called dead a number of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many people always predicted yeah. Bitcoin's death. Yeah, that's right. It hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. There's a lot of, you know, if you look back in history, a lot of things that have been called dead and that have been called like they're going to disappear, they usually, they, they usually stick around. Yeah, most yeah, things, yeah. right? For, for Bitcoin, I think um, Bitcoin is going to stick around, but I think that the... You know, a lot of Japanese, my friends, cars, you are gambler, and things like that, but uh, I'm not, I'm not but investing in shitcoin. I'm investing to yeah. the Bitcoin yeah, and the cryptocurrency. It's like uh, US dollar. It's all a gamble a little bit, right? Like there's always risk involved. Yeah. It's always like, it, like, if you think you can control a risk, if you think there's no risk, then you're probably wrong, right? In anything. It's all about diversifying, and you gotta be lucky too, I guess. Yeah. But I think it's exciting. I think also NFTs are exciting. Yeah. Anything with blockchain, really, yeah. I think is. It's the future. Alright. How's the Heineken? It's good. It's a light beer. Light beer. When I was in Canada, I used to like uh, coconut. Coconut, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Like, and most of Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Coconut. I like Vancouver a lot. I like Bamboo Islands and Stanley Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. It really is. So, 1970. now you got three that citizenship, way. right? No, sorry, two. No, I don't have any citizenship. Well, I'm German. German. Only, only if German citizenship. And then That's it. Canadian. Permanent resident. Permanent residence and a US permanent yes. residence. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's enough. <laughs> You got top three big countries. Next time I gotta be you in Seattle. Yeah. Next time you're gonna show me around Seattle. <laughs> now that I'm showing around here, right? <laughs> it's gonna be the way it is. Like, especially if you look at what entrepreneurs can do yeah. today. Uh, I just think there's a lot of opportunity there. Just building up businesses also purely digital businesses. There's a lot of business being very successful just building up brands. Right. Right. I think from now, you know, everyone can business, everyone can build a business and then, I think that now it's the era of the individual. Yeah. I think that a small business owner, SME, uh, you know, you can build a business, you know, through the ecosystem of Amazon, eBay, Kickstarter, Airbnb, you know, there's so many ways you can make business. Yeah. As long as you can and it's been, yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and you need to, you need to kind of hustle, right? Like you need to, you need to work a lot still yeah. on it. Like it's nothing is for free. There's definitely a, um, an advantage to being early, to yeah. being early yeah. adopters in certain things. Yeah. I always start early. Right. Like if yeah. you're, like if you look at the rise of TikTok, for example. Yeah. Right, made a lot of sense being early there and experimenting even now. Um, if I have been TikToker for a year, over a year and a half. Yeah. I'm not really going anywhere, but uh, I'm still doing it. Yeah, no, but I mean, and you gotta try different formats, you gotta try different approaches and things. I think there's more opportunity for more people now than there's ever been before. It's much more accessible. Right. right? Like if you really wanna do something, if you really wanna create your own brand, um, it's accessible to more and more people. Not everyone's taking advantage of it, right? right? Yeah, I'm very happy where I'm at right now. Um, I just want to, I mean, I utilize all the platform available and try to make money in one platform, second, and third. Yeah, I think that's smart. So this is my friend Max. Next tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys more Singapore together with Max. Thank you, guys.